This episode of the Fiction Writers Podcast is brought to you by How to Write a Novel That Sells. Do you dream of writing a best-selling fiction novel? With the right tools, you could get there sooner than you think. Visit www.howtowriteanovelthatsells.com and unlock the secrets to writing compelling fiction taught by international best-selling author Lana McCara. Welcome to the Fiction Writers Podcast with Lana McCara, where you will discover tips, tricks, and ideas for fiction that is hashtag unputdownable. Here you'll find new energy, new perspectives, new resources, and new ideas that will spark your creativity into a blaze of brilliance. It's easier than you think. Be sure you visit our website at www.fictionwriterspodcast.com. While you're there, subscribe to us via your favorite network. Now, get out your notebook, tune in, and let's get started. Make your words work. That's advice every single writer needs. My name is Lana McKeera. Welcome to the Fiction Writers Podcast. Tips, tricks, and ideas for fiction that is hashtag unputdownable. Today I'm reviewing a book that I absolutely love, Make Your Words Work by Gary Provost. I devoured this book. I gave it away. I marked it up. It was full of bookmarks in different places. I gave it to my sister because she was writing a book. And then I went and bought myself another copy for me to mark up again. <laughs> this book is full of nuggets. It is a practical writer's manual for great writing, not good writing, great writing. There are some tricks and tips that we don't get in English class, but Gary has put them in the book. And I recommend reading it cover to cover multiple times. You need to buy this one and mark it up. And then you need to absorb, absorb, absorb. When he says, make your words work, one of the main principles in the book is that every word has a job. And if you have extra words in your book, in your novel, you're, you're actually diluting the message and making it weaker, not making it better, making it weaker. And there are so many principles in here on point of view and all of these different uh, facets of writing. But I want to just uh, read to you the first paragraph of the introduction. It is so incredibly powerful. Writing dreams do come true. For many years, I was a person who was always doing what you have just done. Picking up books about writing technique, hoping they would help you get closer to the fantasy of becoming a published writer. I was a dreadful writer. I really was. But in the past 15 years, I have published five novels, five books for writers, a sports book, a thousand magazine articles, short stories and newspaper articles, two poems, four true crime books, one of which was made into a movie. I have won the National Jewish Book Award without being Jewish, and I came close to being the new Ann Landers without being female. In my 20s, I couldn't even get a word published. Now, now my writing dreams come true for me every day. You can learn this. I was not a good writer when I started. I was an academic writer because I had just been through college and I had been doing all of those academic papers and it, my writing was stilted and dry and, and lifeless. It took me years to find out how to put emotion and connection to the reader into my writing. You can learn, but you need to apply yourself. So pick up this book, make your words work, and apply yourself to it. A few minutes a day is all it takes. It isn't a massive undertaking, but a few minutes a day will change everything for you. Because Gary Provost changes the way you see your writing, the way you see the words, the way you see the elements in your story. I hope that helped you today. My name is Lada McKera. Thanks so much. See you next time. 
Thank you for tuning into the Fiction Writers Podcast with Lana McCara, where we share tips, tricks, and ideas for fiction that is hashtag unputdownable. Remember to visit our website at www.fictionwriterspodcast.com and enjoy even more great episodes like this one. Again, while you're here, subscribe to us via your favorite network. We look forward to seeing you next time on the Fiction Writers Podcast.